Hey everyone, Jason here, digital marketing consultant, and in this email software showdown, we're going to be looking at the top three free email service providers, MailerLite, ConvertKit, and MailChimp. So timestamps below, along with some other comparison videos that takes a deeper dive into the pros and cons of MailChimp and ConvertKit and MailerLite. So here, we're going to be using this basic lead generation funnel as our template for evaluating what you can and can't do with these different free plans. So we're going to assume Assume that you want to build a landing page, you're going to send out one email as a lead magnet, you probably want to have some sort of follow-up sequence that links over to your sales or checkout process. And that's what we're going to evaluate these on. So the very first thing, of course, is going to be the landing page. Now, the good news is all three of these allow you to build a landing page even with their free plans. However, when it comes to the functionality of these landing page builders, there is a huge difference. So let's kick things off with the bad news. ConvertKit is not all that great when it comes to customizing the landing pages. What you see is what you're stuck with with the ConvertKit templates. You can change the text, the pictures, and then also the colors, of course, but that's pretty much where the customization ends. Whereas with MailerLite and MailChimp, you have a lot more flexibility. MailerLite having the best flexibility and the best customization of landing pages. Although you wind up paying for that because you only can have five landing pages with MailerLite. So they give the best experience, but they limit you on landing pages, unlike MailChimp and ConvertKit. Although the unlimited landing pages with MailChimp you're going to learn later isn't all of that important or really matters. So when it comes to ConvertKit, it offers the best in terms of creating forms. So if you have a giant WordPress site and you wanna do a lot of content upgrades, ConvertKit understands that business model. And so they understand how to create forms that easily do those types of content upgrades. But when it comes to just strict landing pages, MailerLite is going to be the winner even though you're stuck at five. And you can pay $10 a month to have unlimited and also get split testing. Even if you start paying for these solutions, MailerLite is the only one that's going to allow you to split test your landing pages. So now let's move on to number two, which is going to be sending out your lead magnet. So when someone enters their name and email, irrespective of what landing page or form it is, you want to be able to automatically send them an e email immediately to let them know, hey, I got your email, or just to give them a free offer lead magnet or link to your webinar, or whatever you're deciding to do here. So the good news is all three of these allow you to send the first email. However, MailChimp does not allow you to have more than one audience. So essentially, when someone enters their name and email on a form or a landing page, you want to be able to create an audience, a tag, or a group. They all call them different things, right? An audience, a tag, or a group essentially saying, hey, this person came from this landing page and they wanted this lead magnet or this particular offer, right? Well, with the free plan of MailChimp, you can only have one of those. So it actually doesn't really matter that you can create unlimited landing pages because you have to tag everyone as if they came from the same one, which is why I think ConvertKit and MailerLite come out on top here. So MailChimp's definitely lagging behind, but when it comes to sending out just that initial email, they're all able to do it. It's just very important to note that you can't do or set up your segmentations using MailChimp. Now comes the function where MailerLite actually begins to really, really take a huge lead here, and that is with automated sequences. So when you purchase an email software, the expectation, and I know we're talking about free here, but when you purchase an email software, the expectation is someone enters their name and email or just their email or phone number, and you're able to send emails automatically. I guess, actually, phone number, you're not sending emails. I'm talking over myself, right? So either way, you're expecting that you're going to be able to automatically send emails over a specific period of time. Well, with these free plans, MailChimp and ConvertKit does not allow you to do that. MailerLite with their free plan, however, does. So if you're looking for a solution that's going to allow you to automatically send emails, which is pretty much the core of what an autoresponder is supposed to do, then MailerLite is the only one that has your back here. So moving on to broadcast though, this is a little different. So whereas automations, you set something up where the emails go out automatically, with a broadcast, you are manually going into the software and saying, this is the email I want to send to these people at this specific time. So it's manual. That's why they just call it a broadcast, right? 
All three of them allow you to do that. Now, the only special note here is ConvertKit does not have email templates. You can only send plain text emails. While I personally don't think that's a big, big idea, a big deal, you may need to go with MailerLite or MailChimp if having that feature of being able to put a bunch of pictures and have some fancy design template for some reason is really important. So that does it for the features and what you can and can't do. We'll go through usability and some special cases is specifically when it comes to affiliate marketing in a moment. But first, let's look at the restrictions of these free plans and how quickly you're going to have to move from free to paid. So taking a look at our chart again here, you can see that MailChimp allows for 2,000 contacts and up to 10,000 email sends per month. MailerLite, 1,000 contacts, but you can send unlimited limited emails, which makes a whole lot of sense because you're going to be able to set up automations. And so you're going to be sending a lot more emails to those thousand contacts versus the other two. And then finally, ConvertKit gives you a thousand contacts as well with unlimited email sends. Now, before we declare the winner, there are some usability things you should be aware of with each one of these platforms and some restrictions you might run into in the future as your business grows. So we'll kick things off with the down, a big downside of MailerLite. While you can tell it does have the most features on this list for their free plan, they are the most restrictive when it comes to applying for an account. And yes, there is in fact an application process. Whereas MailChimp and ConvertKit are just pretty much going to let you in no matter what business you're in with a little asterisk, MailerLite is going to actually manually review your business. And this is simply because they are allowing you to do automations on their free plan. So they really have to protect their IP addresses to make sure that spammers aren't getting through and hurting their own server reputation, right? And so you will need to have a website set up. You will need to have some sort of online presence or business presence to prove that you are a real person actually doing a real product or selling, doing actually selling a real product or service. Now I'll get into affiliate marketing in a moment. So the next thing we need to talk about is the usability once you go to being paid. Out of the three of these, I think ConvertKit has the best user experience just in general because MailerLite can feel slow and clunky at times. While they do have a visual builder for your automations, ConvertKit's automations and visual builder is much more powerful once you start to pay. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you're planning on selling digital courses or memberships, ConvertKit is actually going to be able to work with Teachable and Thinktific, whereas MailChimp is only going to work with the Teachable platform and MailerLite unfortunately does not have a direct integration with either of those popular course platforms. And the final thing to note here is affiliate marketing. So this is can be a little confusing, but it's incredibly important to understand. None of these services like affiliate marketers. There, that is very different than having affiliate links. So let me explain. When you have affiliate links, this means you are an influencer or you are a business or coach consultant where your primary business is selling your own products and services. And then every once in a while, you mention, hey, I think this software, this offer, this course, this t-shirt is really cool, right? That's an affiliate link because your primary business is your products and services over here. And sometimes you like to promote other products and services, but you're putting your face, your name, your brand behind this promotion. So that is okay with all of these solutions. When it comes to affiliate marketing, however, affiliate marketing as MailerLite and MailChimp describe it, roughly, again, you need to go check out their terms of service. What they describe it as is your primary business is over here. You don't have your own products or services at all. All you do is pitch other affiliate offers and you might not even be using your own name or your own brand to do it. That is what they do not want. So if you are going to be doing 100% affiliate marketing, you don't have your own products, services, or business, your entire revenue stream is over here with affiliate marketing, MailChimp and MailerLite are not for you. ConvertKit doesn't have anything really specific in their terms of service saying this isn't okay. But again, you're just going, in either case, you're going to have to make sure that you continue to have good open and deliverability rates. And of course, you're not just taking emails that you didn't actually collect or have permission to send to. So that's really important to note. So don't get scared just because you want to do some affiliate promotions from using MailerLite or MailChimp. Just keep in mind that their primary concern is affiliate marketers because most affiliate marketers 
don't care at all about their subscribers and just spam, spam, spam. So that does it for the features, the usability, and of course the restrictions with the free account. So now let's go ahead and crown the winner. And it might be a little obvious at this point. If you're looking at just free features, being able to create a landing page, deliver your lead magnets or initial email, and then have some automations, and of course set up tags, groups, audiences, and triggers, then MailerLite is the winner when it comes to the free plan as long as you already have an online presence and your account does in fact get approved. When it comes to being an affiliate marketer or you plan on having course creation being a large part of your business, then ConvertKit would be the winner for you because they are much more open to a lot more affiliate links and affiliate marketing as opposed to making sure your primary business is over here and not with affiliates. And then number two, they actually are the only one on this list that directly integrates with Teachable and Thinkific. Again, you can use things like Zapier or Automate.io, but you probably don't want to add those extra steps in the future. So that does it for the three free solutions and the two winners at the end. I don't think MailChimp really wins in any of the categories, unfortunately, but when it comes down to choosing a free software, I sincerely hope you got some value out of this video and you're really clear on which one of these three solutions to go with. So go and hit that like button, subscribe for more marketing reviews just like this one. And until the next, keep building the business you love.